according to the law of equipartition of energy the number of vibrational modes of a polyatomic gas of gamma cp by cv where uh, cp and cv have their usual meaning is dear students i'll use this standard uh, formula uh, if f is the number of vibrational f is the number of vibrational degrees of freedom then cv is already given in the hint it is 3 plus f times of r and cp minus cv is r so it would be 4 plus f divided by r dear students now you know that gamma is cp by cv it is also mentioned in the question so gamma would actually be 4 plus f into r divided by dear students 3 plus f into r now gamma would be 4 plus f divided by 3 plus f this would be this would be 3 times gamma 3 times f sorry f times gamma this would be f times gamma is equal to 4 plus f dear students now this would be this would be f times gamma minus 1 is equal to 4 minus thrice of gamma and f would actually be 4 minus 3 times gamma divided by gamma minus 1 okay now degree of freedom is 4 minus 3 gamma divided by gamma minus 1 option 3 is chosen as the right option dear students the volume occupied by the molecules contained in a 4.5 kg water at stp okay now in the step 1 we will first calculate the number of moles actually this question is basically of mole concept number of moles which is given mass in grams divided by molar mass dear students so this comes out to be 4500 divided by 18 would be 250 yes it would be 250 250 moles of water okay now you know that molar volume gram molar volume or just the molar volume volume occupied by one mole of a gas of water vapor at stp is 22.4 liters so volume would be you know 250 into 22.4 liters now let us convert this liter into meter cube dear students into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube okay now we have uh, 250 divided by 1000 that means 1 by 4 so 22.4 divided by 4 meter cube dear students which would be you know exactly 5.6 yet it would be 20 is 5 2.4 is 6 5.6 meter cube dear students right so option 1 being the correct one dear students the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of helium at NTP but you have to tell us how it is the process but NTP is saying that people can think that it is okay here we can do the isocoric volume constant so you can see the option here all the time is 3 3 which means 3 by 2 nr delta t which means basically internal energy which is written delta q which means n cv delta t लिख रहे हैं constant volume option देख करके decide हो रहा है तो n into helium gas है तो monoatomic 3 by 2 r delta t this is equal to q अब number of mole कैसे लिखोगे number of mole लिखा जाता है mass upon molecular weight mass अपने को दे रखा है 1 gram molecular weight अब देखो ये भी gram में है ये भी gram में है तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है 1 by 4 so this will be 3 by 8 हो जाएगा और r अब बच्चों एक चीज और है r जो है r r को हम लोग क्या लिख सकते हैं r को मैं लिख सकता हूं बोल्ट्जमैन कांस्टेंट टाइम्स na यानी बोल्ट्जमैन टाइम टाइम्स में अगर na से मल्टीप्लाई कर दूं na क्या है एवोगाड्रो नंबर तो ये हो जाएगा मेरा r को ओपन करने से सो दिस इज KB into Avogadro number into delta T will be equal to Q. So, कुछ नहीं ये इसी का खेल है. 
बोर्समैन कांस्टेंट और आर के बीच में इंटरप्ले कर रहे हैं सीधा आपका आंसर हो जाएगा ऑप्शन नंबर फोर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ गैस इज माइनस फाइव जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके इट इज माइनस फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू वॉट टेम्परेचर द गैस शुड बी हीटेड सो दैट द आर एम एस स्पीड इज इंक्रीज टू और बाई नो इट इज बाय थ्री टाइम्स इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड आर एम एस स्पीड इज इंक्रीज टू थ्री टाइम्स इज नॉट गिवन इट इज इंक्रीज बाय थ्री टाइम्स दैट मीन्स आर एम एस स्पीड शुड बी फोर टाइम्स ऑफ द इनिशियल वन ओके ना यू नो दी फॉर्मुला फॉर आर एम एस स्पीड इट इज इट इज एक्चुअली under root 3 rt by molar mass but since we are not interested in r or molar mass so we should know that rms speed is actually directly proportional to square root of temperature in kelvin dear students so initial rms speed was v and the value of temperature was minus 50 degree celsius that means 273 minus 50 dear students the new rms speed is actually increased by 3 times that means a new rms speed becomes four times of the initial one is directly proportional to square root of temperature which is you know temperature in kelvin right so uh, 4v divided by v would be you know under root of capital t divided by 273 minus you know uh, 50 would be 2 2 3 right definitely in kelvin right dear students it would be it would it would be 2 2 3 now we'll cancel v and v 4 would be root t divided by 2 2 3 squaring both sides now on squaring both sides we get 16 is equal to t divided by 2 2 3 we get this we get this temperature definitely in kelvin i'm not uh, making the calculations for you you get this temperature in kelvin 16 into 2 2 3 now when you uh, see the options right so uh, for final options temperature in degree celsius temperature in degree celsius what you can do is 16 into 2 to 3 minus uh, 273 dear students right so i hope you'll get this answer as 3295 degree celsius you can make the calculations yourself dear students option 3 is definitely chosen as the correct one dear students A container of volume 200 cm cube. So we have a container, dear students, whose volume is 200 cm cube. Contains 0.2 mole of hydrogen gas. Okay, there are two gases. So we have 0.2 moles of hydrogen gas and 0.3 moles of argon gas. Right. The pressure of this system at temperature 200 Kelvin will be right. Temperature is 200 Kelvin. This is very easy question to understand. Volume is 200 cm cube. Okay, we'll convert this into SI unit. This is 200 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. Now uh, these are this container actually contains the mixture of two chemically non-reacting gases. Now according to Dalton's law of partial pressure, what I'm going to do is the pressure of mixture would be the individual pressure exerted by hydrogen gas plus pressure exerted by argon gas right this is actually the dalton's law of partial pressures now you know that pv equals to nrt you know that pv is equal to nrt right so uh, the pressure will be would be nrt by volume this is nrt by v n1 rt by v plus n2 definitely rt by v now we'll take rt by v common dear students this is n1 plus n2 we have the value of r in si system as 8.3 okay temperature as 200 kelvin volume as 200 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 definitely n1 plus n2 would come out to be 0.5 okay now we are going to cancel few things 200 and 200 get cancel this is 8.3 divided by 2 Into 10 to the power 6 Pascal, so which is 4.15 into 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Option 4 is definitely chosen as the correct one, dear students.